Project Tiger started off in 1973. It's the longest running conservation project in the world. I would also say that this is the greatest conservation success story in the world. And this particular project deserves a documentary which we have worked on it. It's a 86 minutes documentary. It talks about the history of tigers. It talks about how we end up losing tigers in India or say in, in, in the world and how we save them. Today we are very proud as Indians that we have got more than 75% of the wild tigers in India. And we want the world to know what India has done to conserve this global icon. So this film is very very much important for every Indian to watch, to know the history behind tiger conservation, to know about that what the government of India, the forest department, the people who stay close to the forested areas, plus the researchers, the biologists, the conservationists, the kind of work what they have done. So I would say that it's a great effort done by uh, people of India and this is our way of showcasing or say, you know, showing our gratitude through this documentary, the kind of work what they have done. Humbale Films, they come on board because they felt that this is a great project which is done by Nature in Focus and it needs a larger audience and they came on board to support us to take this project forward. This is a complete uh, documentary upon the tiger. It's a documentary on tiger conservation. So, you know, in uh, when 1973 this project started off, the tigers were getting extinct. Before 1970, you could officially go for a game hunting of tigers, you know. Oh, yeah. And when Indira Gandhi, the late Prime Minister of India, uh, figured that things are really, really off and we will end up losing this global iconic species, she decided to start the project Tiger. And at that point of time, they started, if I'm not wrong, with eight tiger reserves in India. And at that point of time, they decided that no hunting will be allowed. These areas will be kept for tigers. And today we have 54 tiger reserves. So the great work which has been done to make sure that we have more than 3,925 tigers in India now. No. Yes, so the documentary actually talks about the times of Maharajas and you know no. the landlords. So we go back in time because India actually had more than 40,000 tigers and uh, then the numbers started dropping because they used to hunt as a sport that happened. Uh, after that the Britishers came so they also started enjoying this sport. The hunting became more, there was a competition between the Maharajas and Britishers that who's going to kill more number of tigers. So that episode happened. In 1947 we got the independence so we had different pressure at that point of time. You know, we got independence, we had to survive on our own now. So nobody was bothered about what is happening with our forested areas or with the tigers. So the, these shikar companies were there and officially hunting was allowed. When Project Tiger started off, at that point of time, they figured that we are actually losing tigers. And later, there was another pressure point happened, which was poaching. Poaching was big in 2000, you know. So early 2000, poaching was big. And because of that, in 2005, in Panna, sorry, in 2005 in Sariska, we actually lost all the tigers. And 2006, we lost tigers in Panna, locally extinct. And then there is a course correction. And after the course correction, today we have a very healthy population of tigers. As I said earlier, we have more than 75% of the wild tigers in India. See, people love tigers. You know, okay. people come from all over the world to see the tigers. Where will they see the tigers? There are only two places where you can go. Either you will go to Nepal or you will come to India. India has got more national parks, has got more population and that's the reason everybody comes to India. Tiger has got a global appeal. You know, People are mesmerized. It's a majestic animal. I also remember I was a kid. I belong to Madhya Pradesh. As a kid I used to go to Kanda National Park and I still have the memory fresh in my mind first time when I saw the tiger. I think I'll be what, 10 years old. I still remember those eyes, that face, that grace. It's amazing. So, tiger actually inspired people to even take up wildlife photography. From a photography, you start thinking about the forest. When you start thinking about the forest, you start thinking about the conservation. It's all connected. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rohit Verma. I am the co-founder of Nature in Focus. And uh, with me and Kalyan, we have made a spell.